Hi, in this video I want to talk about how to set up an ODBC data connection using Asset Manage Enterprise. Now if you're running the program you can uh, you can view the steps uh, necessary to do this from within the program. You just click on the help button or uh, under the help menu you'll see the online help and that'll show you how to uh, perform the steps I'm going to show you here. Um, okay, so I'm running Windows 10 and my first action is going to be to select come all the way to the bottom here and you will see Windows Administrative Tools. You're going to select, um, I'm running a 64-bit Windows 10 and I've set up um, Microsoft SQL Server 2016 Express Edition, the 64-bit edition. So I'll be, I'll be using the ODBC Data Sources 64-bit program. Click on that and it's going to, um, first of all, um, in most cases you're going to be setting up a user DSN. If you set up a system DSN and later run the program, it's going to, you're going to be getting permissions errors and it's going to be telling you you have to run the program, run as admin. Uh, so in, in most cases you're going to be setting up a user DSN. So I have this tab selected. I'm going to click on add and since I have been, I'm setting this up for SQL Server 2016, I'm going to be using this ODBC driver here. So I'll click finish. I'm going to give it a name. Now for the server, if you don't see anything here, um, make sure if, if you download the Express Edition that you also download this SQL Server Management Studio. And what you can do if you don't, if you're not sure the instance name, just right mouse click, select properties, and you can just copy and paste directly from here. Click Next. Now, in most cases, you'll be using Windows Authentication. Click Next again. Now, this is very important. Make sure you click on this Change the Default Database to and select the, at the database you set up for Asset Manage, which the default will be, it'll be called Asset MNG 2010. So I'll select that. Click Next and click Finish here course you're going to test the data source tests completed successfully so I'm good to go now I need have a new DSN called asset manager enterprise DSN um, next step will be to actually run the program and to select this DSN we, we created right here uh, but that's it for this video thank you very much for watching take care and bye bye <laughs>